Now, if you're going to play a character who's having a, a really happy experience, a joyous experience, and you're going to play them on stage or on set, where does that emotion come from? It comes from you, doesn't it? Yeah. Would you agree it's impossible to experience the emotional life of anybody else other than you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't experience the emotional life of Hamlet. You cannot experience the emotional life of Macbeth or Al Pacino or anybody else. And the reason for that is that you only have you to work with, your emotional life. So therefore, when people kind of say, well, the emotion just comes from the character, it doesn't. It comes from you. And therefore, to produce those emotional results, you have to work with your emotional life. You ignore it at your peril. And when you work on exercises like this, you maybe end up with 13, 14 different experiences that you switch on for when you're in casualty and there's a camera in your face and the director's asking you to cry like a baby. And therefore, you're not wondering whether it's going to happen or not. You know. You know it will happen because you've worked in this way. You've worked on the exercises, and you can switch it on like that. Now, that, ladies and gentlemen, is artistic, and it's a craft. 